Hey guys, this is a video in my TI-30 XS multi-view tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate percentages of numbers using the TI-30 XS multi-view. This was suggested in a comment in a previous video. Hopefully, this helps in some way. Without further ado, let's get to it. This green percent sign is used to uh, convert uh, numbers or fractions or decimals uh, into percents. For example, if you want to know what five sevenths is in percent, you would type in uh, parenthesis five over or divided by seven and then close the parenthesis then press second and this open right parenthesis button and the screen looks like this. Uh, press enter and it would show you what uh, this fraction is in uh, percent. But if you want to calculate percentages of numbers, you would want to use this button. So if if you want to find 10% uh, of 1, so just type in 10 and second and just a percent sign or or second and then the uh, left parenthesis button. So the screen looks like this, it just reads 10%. And automatically when you type in 10%, uh, it's going to find 10% of one. So when I press enter, it found uh, or calculated 10% uh, of one. Now if I want to find 10% of 20, for example, I would type in 20 on the right side of the percent sign. So let's do 10% uh, of 20. So type in 10. Second, left parenthesis button. It looks like this, 10%. Now type in 20. Uh, you could type in the multiplication sign that will just find 10% of one and then multiply that by 20. Or you could just do 10% of 20. Uh, either ways works. I'll press enter. And now we have 10% of 20 as a 2. So I'm going to just clear the screen. Now let's do a 20 plus 10% of 20. So type in 20 on the number pad plus. So the entry looks like this. I'm going to open a parenthesis just so the entry looks cleaner. And then do 10 and second left parenthesis button. And in this time, I'm going to type in the multiplication sign just to show you that it works both ways. And then type in 20 and close the parenthesis. So what the calculator is doing, it's taking 20 and adding 10% of one times 20. Uh, so automatically when you type in percent, it finds percent of one. And then you're multiplying that by whatever the number is that you're looking for the percent of. So now it's effectively finding 10% of 20 and adding that to 20 and press enter and you get the answer as 22. And we know 10% of 20 is 2 and add that to 20 we should end up with 22. Hope this helps. As always if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section and I'll try my best to help. If you haven't already please subscribe Check out other videos on my channel, especially the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series. And until next time, take care guys.